to the horror hour. Hello and welcome to the Horror Hour, the show where we discuss, debate and disagree on all things horror. Um, you have myself, Liam. Hello. I'm also joined by Steve. Hi, Liam. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and today we're going to be giving you a quick review of Werewolf by Night, um, which is releasing on Disney Plus as a Marvel special. Um, Halloween special. On, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, on October 7th, um, it stars uh, Gal Gossi- no, Ga- Ga- Gal. Uh, Gail Garcia Bernal. Gail Garcia Bernal. There we go. Laura Donnelly, uh, Harriet San Sansom Harris, uh, Eugene Bondurant, Bondurant. French, um, and other people. Uh, it is directed <laughs> by Michael Giacchino. Giacchino. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, written, by yeah. <laughs> ja- yeah. written by Heather Quinn. Written by Heather Quinn. So, yes. As I said, we were lucky enough to get to see this early. Um, so, Steve, what did you think of it? I enjoyed it. It's very refreshing. Um, I love Marvel. You know, I'm, I, I do enjoy the MCU. I, But, you know, at times it can get a little stale when things are kind of thematically the same. So I appreciate in this kind of new phase of Marvel that they're really experimenting with genre. Uh, you know, I think once they kind of finish the Infinity Saga, they're like, okay, you know what? Now we're going to just branch out and do new stuff. And I'm really appreciating pre- appreciating that. Um, and I feel like they really took this. I think this is probably one of the biggest swings that they've taken in terms of changing, like, the way we present a story and um, just the genre. So I, I, I appreciate it. I love the old monster movies from the 30s and 40s. So this was like a real treat for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm the same. I, I'm also a huge fan of the Marvel stuff. Um, I watch everything. I watch it when the drop. Um, so this was like such a refreshing change. Um, I didn't have hope for it going in, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. on, only because I was like, you know what, Marvel say they're going to do something within a genre, but then they never really fully embrace the genre. So I just ins- I just assumed it was going to be a normal Marvel film in black and white. Yeah. And oh boy, is it not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just give you the top three things on what we enjoyed about the special presentation um so at number three for me was the acting Mm -hmm. um i thought the actors across the board all did a very good job um no one's a huge name so it's not like well gail's like kind of a big name but not no one's huge So no I mean, one they've like done, yeah, they've all done stuff. Yeah. It's just in terms yeah. of like what circles of cinema are you are we talking? You know exactly. Um, so like for me, Harriet, Desperate Housewives. That's all I know her from. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was going to mention that. I love her on that. <laughs> so yeah, so everyone across the board, excellent job. Um, all played really well off each other, and it was very. It was very exciting and camp, and I really appreciated that. Um, so what would be on number three? Yeah, I mean, you know, since you kind of already talked about the acting, I mean, I guess the overall campiness of it, I just appreciated the tone of the film. Um, like Harriet, like she really kind of felt like one of those characters straight out of the 30s. Like, I think she really embraced it. She did it well. Um, it wasn't a forced sense of camp because I think we all understand the source material and like what they're doing um, as opposed to like we're going to be weird and goofy to make it camp you know like those kinds of movies yeah. 
you know, I feel like this really was like it merited like what they were going for. Um, so I thought, yeah, I thought especially so she was really fun. And I wanted to shout out Kirk Thatcher as Jovan. Yes. He's one of the hunters. I thought he was really fun. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he was definitely a highlight as far as just in terms of like the ensemble. Um, and of course, the leads were great. You know, like Gail Bernal, I thought was awesome as Jack Russell. I liked Laura Donnelly as um, Elsa. I thought the two of them played off pretty well. Yeah. Um, you know, they, you know, it was only an hour, not even, right? Like, like yeah, like 52 minutes, I think. It was a short film. I mean, yeah. it was it was almost just like, and honestly, it could have been like a pilot to something longer, you know, or if, like if they wanted to make it a show or, I mean, I know movies back in the day really weren't always that long anyway. Sometimes a film would be like an hour and 10 minutes. Like some, yeah. you know, it depends. So in the vein of that, you know, for what they had that hour, I think they put enough, they got enough character in there. They got enough story. So. Oh yeah, most definitely. That. Excellent. Yeah. Um, oh, and also, um, I believe it might be Eugenie um, Bunder. And I was like, I was watching, where do I know this person? I have seen this face. This face is very like particular. Yeah. yeah it yeah. is Tigress from the fourth Hunger Games movie oh. i was like okay. that explains it yeah um very striking visual the way her yeah. character and like that the way they did her out yeah oh yeah definitely um so number two for me um would probably uh i'll go with script mm -hmm. script would be my number two because um there isn't it is, as we said it is short there isn't much of a script because it is mainly a visual piece, mm -hmm. shall we say. Yeah. Um, so I think the script overall, because the script would have given us like the overarching story beats and things like that. And in I don't think Harriet um would have been able to camp it up as much as she had if the script wasn't there to begin with. So yes. and we know she can deliver that kind of thing. As we said earlier, we deli we we'll have seen her in Desperate Housewives. Um, so I think the script really helped with that, and I appreciated it. So that's yeah. why the script is at number two on the reasons why I appreciated it and like, enjoyed yeah. it. Definitely. Um, so for my number two, I think Michael Oetz is just like the overall like special effects and the, the style of the film. I was surprised with some of the gore in this movie i was you know it's interesting you know we talked about how you know marvel will say oh we're gonna play in this space of genre and they not fully go there i you know i, I don't mean to call out uh, the multiverse of madness i mean i liked it but i don't think they went as in <laughs> in terms of horror as they could have mm. <laughs> could have been i think could have been scarier Right, it right. Been much I think scarier. It could have been scarier. I mean, there were like some jump stuff. Like, I think they did some cool, creepy Wanda stuff yeah. when she's coming. But not to go into. I don't want to spoil too. You know, I don't. I mean, the movie's been out for a while, but um, oh, no. it could have been creepier. You know, and so yeah. I appreciated that we had some gore. Um, there was blood. You know, I think you know multiverse. Right, they got away with the blood thing because it wasn't blood, it, but it looked like blood. <laughs> yeah. some of the stuff that they use so i don't know i feel like that you know but it's also i think it's a disney plus thing i feel like disney as a company is willing to take more risks with their streaming service than they are cinema so yes. which is you know which is and fair. especially now that disney plus in the u.s has um obviously the, the age barrier mm -hmm. um there they can release things like this and have um gore in it yeah. Because there's an age barrier there. That's why Deadpool's on there now. That's why Logan's on there now. Um, Disney Plus in the UK has had that for a very long time because we had um, Star added onto our Disney Plus a long right, time right. ago, um, which allowed us to have adult content. And we've had that for a while. So this isn't new to us, but I understand why it's new okay. to people in the US. Um, so, yeah, I get yeah. why it's... Oh, yeah, so, for number one for me is your number two but well the visuals overall um this film is just 
so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Because it's got the look of a 1930s, 40s um, film. But like clean, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I, I can make things out. It's in HD and I can make it out. Yeah. And I appreciate that. That's good. Um, and things like, um, as we've seen in the trailer, Man Thing. The special effects on Man Thing are great. Um, the special effects on a certain someone that it's called after. Uh, well, it's called Werewolf by Night. Um, oh my god. I was just like, there is one scene when you were first, like, and I was just like, wow. <laughs> the camera just like, and I was like, oh, wow. Oh, this is good. Yeah. This yeah. is good. Um, so, yeah. And especially, oh, just the estate, the house, the gardens. I was like, oh, this is amazing. It reminded location. me, yeah, it reminded me very much of um, Labyrinth. Oh yeah, yeah. It I had the that. same aesthetic, like the um the squared off edges, the the white like grey stone, um the mud. It was just oh mm-hmm. I loved it. I loved yeah. it. So what would be your number one? <laughs> My number one. Well to piggyback off of yours, even just a, just one little thing that I love, and I'll just add like a part B to yours is on the aesthetic. <laughs> like even just like the little details that they had in this film to make it feel like a 30s, 40s film. Um like I don't know if you noticed the little like <laughs> I just appreciate it. It's, just, it's such a minor thing. The little black dot that pops up on the screen to let the projectionist know to change the film reel. Oh my god, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah, that was it in could, there. It was like, um, like it 20, might, 30 like, minutes in. That bloody screener with your email address in. I can't really say much when it comes up in the middle. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like it usually, I think it showed up in like the, t- somewhere in the top right. Um, if you watch it again just look I mean it's just something that old films used to do because you know when they would project a film you had to like change the reel Um, so I just even there's like little stuff like that I just kind of liked but my number one uh, would just probably just be like the leads like I really just kind of like had fun with them Um, I thought Gail Bernal was fantastic I just kind of liked his introduction uh, talking about his makeup and his ancestors and um, his little like 60 minute journey um, was was really fun. Um, and just the little twists of like what his character's motivations were and um, just the little mythology that they were able to build in an hour. Yeah. And they, and they gave a lot. So yeah. Oh, they gave a lot for sure. Um, so yeah, I think just his performance was great. I hope we see more. Like, I would love, oh, like, really you, you know, like if this is great as a one-off, sure, but like maybe they're testing the waters. Like, I, I could, I would love to see kind of like, uh, I don't know if there's an equivalent. You know how I'm like, I don't know, are you familiar with like Justice League Dark? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so like, if we can kind of get, I don't know, is there an Avengers Dark? Is there like a like a more of like a sorcery kind of event? Um, I like the MCU. I like some Marvel. I mostly read X Men. Um, if you could, people can tell, I'm more of an X Men. <laughs> but I'm not um, aware of there being one. Um, yeah. But I did assume they were kind of like leaning into having like this Moon Knight, uh, Blade, like having that as its own little area i assumed that's where yeah, we were heading i would like a more of like a darker you know doesn't have to be always more mature but just more of like the su- supernatural horror side of things like i really want yeah. them to run with that um and i want to see more of these characters i think that's like it's my number one and it's also just i'm not a negative i just like i it's only a possible negative if we don't see them anymore yes. after this, you know? yeah no i get that yeah Brilliant. Uh, so, out of 10, what would you rate it? Go. I'm going to give it an 8. 8.5. 8.5. Nice. I was going to go with a 9 um, oh, yeah. because I was just so surprised with it. Um, yeah. So, that's so 9. F- a 9. Um, 9 is solid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it is a solid, it's a, it is a solid just under an hour's worth of entertainment. So, mm-hmm. 
yes. perfect for October as well, right? <laughs> exactly. It is spooky season. Put something spooky on. Um, so thank you for watching with us today. Um, we have been the Horror Hour. You can follow us on all our socials, which is um at the Horror Hour TV. We are also on Patreon. The details are down below if you would like to subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, we do also have a podcast, which comes out once a week. Uh, if you are on Patreon, you do get special extras like an extra episode. Um, and yeah, that's it for us. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.